the uh, community was really, really important. The tribal council counted a lot. It was a tie, and it was tied twice, so we had to uh, come to a consensus. That was the hardest tribal council we've had yet. I kind of expected the split. Me and Jeanette have been together since the start. Um, we've been tight with Tim too, so it was really, really hard. Drew and Tim had been chatting lately, and I kind of thought that they were both going to vote together. I thought it was going to be for me, but um, turned out it was Jeanette. Tribal council was a big shocker. Tim and I had planned to vote for Jeanette, and uh, then we figured that if it was a deadlock tie, like it was, that it would go to previous votes, which it didn't. Um, unfortunately, it went to the sort of purple rock situation, and Tim decided to go. Um, I was a little shocked at that because he seemed like he really wanted to stay. It's weird. Like this is what it was like for the other tribes before we merged. It's crazy. Tim was pretty brave about taking it. Uh, I felt really bad. Um, it was mostly just guilt, and we're so tired and just drained that it was just, you know, one of those things that felt so good, but you felt so bad as well. Um, I thank Tim so much. He's an amazing guy. That was so nice of him, and uh, we'll hopefully see how that goes. I feel bad for Tim. I feel horrible. I can't believe he did that. I honestly could not believe that Tim said he, would, he was going to go. That was the last thing I would have expected. I can't even imagine like what was going through Tim's head and why he would step down, but like that's incredible. I, I don't even know what to say. That was crazy. The fact that the game is almost over and the fact that I can almost reach the money and, um, is all very awesome. I've had an awesome experience. I loved it. Uh, it was really a good learning experience. Um, the money is not so much. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to going home, uh, cleaning up. <laughs> That'll be nice. Um, I'm really excited. Um, the money is just a bonus. Uh, yeah, now that it is down to the end, I'm really excited about, about winning. I can almost feel the, feel the money or taste the money or whatever, and uh, I'm really excited uh, to get it over with, to go home and see my family and stuff like that. Um, I'm really excited about that. But also, uh, it's going to be sad that it ends because I had such a great time out here. And I met a lot of new people, and I think I made a lot of new friends out here. So I hope I can see them again in the future, but it's been a great time, and I'm really excited for the end. I would win. Then I would definitely not do the end. Why? I don't know. She just kind of bugs me. It's a matter. Oh. I mean, she's a good person. I like her a lot, but no, she just kind of bugs me. Um, I might try and see if I can get Amanda to come to my side or vote with me and uh, hopefully guarantee me a spot in the final two. I don't, I don't think I've really got to know her as much as I've got to know you and the other guys. So. I don't know what happens next. Um, if Jeanette or I win the next challenge and get to decide who goes to tribal council, I think I would pick Jeanette. Um, I don't like how Drew has played the game. He didn't help on the first day, and he was he was ready to be voted out the second day. And to have his turn around and he's in the top three, like it's just insane. I would take Jeanette. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if that's even how it's gonna work. There's been so many twists in this game. You don't know anything anymore. Tim wouldn't have left if he didn't want us to go. I know. That's all I felt was guilty. Like I, I was like, I'm, I'm just guilty. Like I was crying because I was guilty. I, I, I couldn't like, even believe it. I know. Like you, what, you, there, you couldn't horrible. say anything. I was just like, oh my god, you know. It's so horrible. we'll just try and get immunity. The best, and then yeah. Uh, I'd really like to see it go to. Amanda, she played very well. She's um, had her strategies very dedicated. Um, a really nice girl. Um, enjoyed being with her the whole time. So sad to miss her, but we'll hopefully keep in touch and um, 
see from there, so I hope she uh, does well and uh, can't wait to go home too. It's endurance and not Ken. I'm not giving up. I know. There's no way. I hope it is endurance. It's not going to make it. <laughs> I will. It's funny to remember the first day. We're just like us, you know. It's, it's insane. The first day, we and we just, just sat there with Trisha and didn't build the shelter, and we were like, that's so annoying. I know. He was pissed, but we know you so much the first day, and I can't believe it's not fun. I can't believe it either, and he asked us to build a moat at one point. I know. He was wanting to get off, and then we just never I know. Like, and what he city? Hates, he hates my guts, so he's going to build a moat as soon as he gets it back. How do you know? He, why does he hate you? Because he keeps building me up. He keeps building me up. I don't think it's because he hates you. Well, it just doesn't want me to play or something. You know, he wants me out. He wants me to be out. The next community challenge is going to be so important. I was talking to Amanda, and the two of us want to go all the way. We want to be the final two. Um, we're going to be working our butts off for it. I don't care if, like, I don't know, maybe some people will rationalize it like, oh, you have more of a chance of winning if you take Drew with you. I don't care. Yeah, he, he, doesn't he doesn't deserve, deserve it. it. He doesn't no. deserve it. Oh, I know. We just feel that Drew shouldn't uh, be in the final two. Um, it's not anything about his personality. It's just, it's um, the fact, you know, the first day he was sitting while building the tribe like, and building our uh, shelter. Um, he was complaining that he wanted to go home and he was going to be voted out, but and now he's ended up in the final three. He's made a couple good moves, like when he flipped on us and voted you the first time with Donnie. Yeah. Like if Callista and Hannah had gone with that and if they had gotten Danielle, that would have been a good move for him. You're gonna fight for it pretty hard. Yeah. That's Me gonna too. be ours. Alright, so you win my hand. Definitely. I, I just want us in the final two. Yeah. I, I don't care who gets it. Yeah. As long as it's us. As long as I want us to win. last one. Woohoo! Sixteen were changed. Now only you three remain. How badly do you want it? Can you last through the pain? Mm. Endurance. Endurance. Um, I'm not too sure, certain about the future. Um, I really think I need immunity because I'm pretty sure, the pretty sure the two other girls are in alliance together and they're out to get me next. So I think immunity would be essential for me. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens at the challenge. Yeah, I'm good. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Let's get all the water that's going around. If Jeanette or Drew won the immunity challenge, um, it'd probably be smart to take each other. I don't have any votes against me. And they both do, which makes it seem that if Jeanette took Drew or if Drew took Jeanette, then there's already a couple votes for them in their favor since they already know that somebody has voted them out or attempted to vote them out. Whereas I don't have any votes against me, so that could, you know, that could play against me. You did a good job. Good try. I hope you enjoyed your time. It's too bad you just had to go first. Mike, are you going to gamble? Yes, I am. You were a great competitor. Sorry you had to go. You were awesome at the Girls Food Challenge. Great effort. Thanks for coming. You're really smart and always thinking. Good job. I wish I got to know you a little better. Loved the uh, determination. Uh, keep up the good work. You've got more spirit than anyone I've ever met. Loved your spirit. You kept us high and we uh, kept uh, very enthusiastic. I really liked your motivation and enthusiasm and I was so shocked to see you go. I only knew you for a short time, but you were hilarious. Keep cracking the jokes. 
You kept everyone's spirits high, and I hope your fan's okay. My best memory of you is in the Carabiner Challenge, when you were so determined, even though you were having troubles, and you ripped the flag off and said, screw you. I'll never forget that. You have so much fun, and you're always enthusiastic. Keep going, and uh, my heart's with you. You put up an awesome fight. I'm proud of you. I was shocked to see you go. I uh, really got to know you well, and I thought we uh, would have had a lot of fun together. You had a lot of spunk, and I was sad to see you go. You're an awesome person, and it was too bad you had to quit. It played really hard. I really appreciate how you played. You're a really strong player, and even at the end, you didn't give up. I respect that. It's great to get to know you when we were the representatives, and I tried fun. Survivor was a, uh, a really good opportunity. Um, it's a lot of, it's a lot, it takes a lot of determination, it takes a lot of heart. You gotta be, uh, you gotta be really good, and you gotta be really intelligent and know the game. You were so determined and enthusiastic, and it was hard to see you go. Thanks for coming out, play Survivor with us, have fun in Halifax. You're a fierce competitor, and it was awesome. These past four days have been really awesome. It's surprising how um, many friendships you can develop in just two or three days, and um, how hard it is when voting people out. Okora was a lot of fun. Um, every all like every member in that team had a lot of heart. Oh, dogs for life. <laughs> you always stay determined, motivated, and upbeat. You rock my side. You're so much fun. You always put a smile on my face. You're hilarious, and I liked you the moment I met you. My strategy was to come in, do the best that I could, and that way I would be happy with whoever I ended up, and I ended up being top seven, which was more than I ever planned on being. Then I made it to the top seven, and that was, that was good for me. But overall, I had the best time, and I'm happy that I took part in once in a lifetime experience for me. You were determined, loyal, hardworking. You had everything. You had a lot of good stories. We had some good laughs and good times. I was really sad to see you go. We had a lot of fun together. You were very determined. I proved a lot to myself during the game, especially during the food challenge. Didn't even gag once. <laughs> I'm really proud there. I'm proud of everyone for what they've gone through and everything we've been through together, everything we've done for each other. It was definitely one of the hardest things I've had to do in my life, but it was by far the best experience I've had. You were hard working, you made great rice. You worked really hard and we heard a lot of great stories from you. You really worked for what you had. You're the man, Dan. Coming to this game, I thought I wouldn't have as good of a chance. I was one of the younger people. Ending up where I did in the top five, like that was just amazing. I made it way farther than I ever thought I would have. We all had amazing times, no hard feelings throughout this. I'm really proud of whoever wins. It was a great time being here. <laughs> what can I say other than you're so funny? and you're the nicest person I've ever met. I hope we can be friends when this is all done. You were hilarious and hardworking. Clock it up. Tim, you're an amazing person. You have so much to give and you have so much potential. Thanks for everything. This whole game has been a really, really fun experience. I've loved everyone that I've met. They're all really cool people. I never expected it to be as hard as it was. I did step out of the game at when we had reached a tie. There were a bunch of different reasons. I thought I'd get far, but I, I never thought I'd get as far as I did. I never really wanted to win. It was more just the playing experience. I'm glad I could help out whoever I did help. I'm glad that they're sitting right there right now. Hello, survivors. Drew, I'd like to have the idol back, please. Thank you. Welcome to the final and most important immunity challenge. Not only will the winner of this challenge proceed immediately to the final two, but they will decide who they will take with them to sit before the jury. 
they will cast the only vote at Tribal Council. This challenge is relatively simple. Before you are three stumps. You will each take one and place yourself on it with one foot only. At that point, you will then lean in and put one hand on the center pole here. As you can see, the center pole has the handprint of every survivor who has gone before you. While on the stump, if either your other hand or your other foot hits either the stump or the center pole, you will be disqualified. The last person standing on their stump will win immunity and the final vote at Tribal Council. You understand? Let's begin. For immunity, survivors ready. Please step up. Step down. Crew is up for one minute and 20 seconds. Only Amanda and Jeanette are left. Amanda, you've stepped off your stump at four and a half minutes. Jeanette, you have won individual immunity, and you automatically advance to the final two. You may step off your stump. Congratulations. I'll see you guys at Tribal Council. Welcome survivors. Bring in the jury. Donnie, Hannah, Calista, Danielle, and most recently, Ken. Drew, how difficult was that last tribal council for you? Last tribal council was crazy. I was, it was, I was so shocked he went, uh, but I guess he had to do what he had to do. Amanda, how was the last tribal council for you? It was really, really hard. Um, obviously, it was split, and it was really, really hard to see Tim, Tim go like that. Annette, why do you think Tim left? He's uh, an amazing person. Um, definitely, uh, I think he wanted to uh, maybe not put the uh, spot on him. Amanda, because she wasn't in the counts, but um, 
Maybe also just because he liked to see us move on. Amanda, how do you feel having made it this far with the final three? Really good, but like also I, I never expected that ever. Definitely happy. Drew, the last challenge was kind of difficult. <laughs> how are you feeling right now about it? It was crazy hard. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I'm a little worried right now. Uh, I think any, anyone would be without immunity, so, whatever, however it goes, it goes. Jeanette, what kept you up on that stump? I was determined. Um, it was like the, uh, other endurance test that we did. I just wanted to do it. Those are the kind of things I like. I enjoy pushing myself to the limit. Amanda, looking back at the past four days, what drove you to get to this point? Um, really that's what I came for. I mean, you come into the game of Survivor looking to play, looking to have a good time and looking for the experience. Um, if you just kind of, if you gave up and just decided, you know, I'm not really going to try, I'm just going to, you know, go with the flow, what's the point of being there to begin with? Drew, how did you end up playing as well as you did? I'm really not sure. Uh, I didn't come in with any strategy. I just kind of Flew by the seat of my pants, I guess. Uh, got to know everyone uh, as good as I could, and I worked out. So I guess I have a lot of luck. Amanda, what reasons do you have to give to Jeanette as to why she should take you to the final two? I think throughout this game, I have stuck with Jeanette. Um, we've been pretty honest with each other. Really, I can't sit here and tell her why she should take me. I'll ask you the same question and give you the same opportunity. What reasons do you have to give Jeanette for her to pick you to take to the final two? Uh, I'm not sure either. I think I tried to get to know Je Jeanette as well as I could, and it's her decision, not mine. Jeanette, it's an awfully difficult situation you're in. What are you basing your vote on? Um, I'm basing my vote on... Uh, once again, kind of interesting. Honesty, respect, fun, determination. Okay, it's time to vote. Since Jeanette is immune, Amanda would have to vote for Drew, and Drew would have to vote for Amanda, and their votes cancel each other out. Jeanette has the only vote at this tribal council. You may go ahead and vote. person voted out of Survivor Otter Creek and the final member of our jury. Drew, please bring your report. Drew, the tribe has spoken. It's time for you to go. No, okay. Amanda and Jeanette, you've come a long way. From 16 survivors to two. You may return to your camp.
I just wanted to say I had a great time. It was the best experience I've ever had so far. Uh, I met a lot of great people. Uh, I think I'll have a lot of friends. I had so much fun with everyone. We had a great time at camp. It was hard at times, but I think uh, once we got over that, it was just fun and everyone did a great job. I hope everyone, there's no hard feelings about any boats or anything and I hope they have uh, fun in the final two and good luck. Well, here I am um, uh, with Amanda for the last two in the game. Cool. I'm excited. There you go. I'm pretty excited. I'm so excited to be here. It's amazing that I got here, um, especially here with Amanda. Amanda uh, is a down-to-earth girl. She's so much fun, uh, very loyal. Um, so even just being around with her is is perfectly fine. Like um, we had such a good time together. You know, I'm just happy we made it down to two. Me too. Like, I'm so excited right now. I know. where I am. I'm just How like, can you not be excited? <sighs> yeah, I'm so excited. The people that I've met in this game have been amazing. We have honestly had an, a great time. We've had an amazing last four days. Um, our tribe just got along great. We hang out, we sing songs. We crack jokes all day. When we first came into this game, um, I was looking to just get as far as I could and you know, not set expectations. Um, so I didn't expect to end up in the final two at all. Um, obviously, I'm really excited about that. I can't believe he uh, dropped out really quick. I know. I thought I was going to have to fight for it. He must not have cared. Like, I don't know. I know, he but he known. seemed like it. He seemed like he was... Yeah. Doing the uh, second endurance uh, challenge, um, there's a few things that kept me going. Um, definitely willpower. I have a lot of willpower, I think, and determination. Um, I really wanted to win the immunity um, because uh, I, I thought Drew would want it pretty bad because uh, he... I thought he might be threatened by Amanda and I. We've stuck together the whole time. Um, so I thought he'd be really threatened, but he seemed to give up pretty quick. He had to have known, huh? Had to have known what? Like, that we were going to take each other. Yeah. Well, he had it coming. Like, he voted me out. Like, numerous times. Numerous times. And that was another reason why I was just like, uh, I don't. <laughs> you know? When it came down to Amanda and I, um, it was pretty tough. I almost thought about giving up, but I was, I wasn't hurting too bad, and I thought I could keep going. So I thought I, I thought I might and try my best. Once I won immunity, I got thinking, I'm like maybe I should keep Drew around. I knew I would have more people maybe voting for me than Drew. And then I got to think about it again, and I'm like, I think loyalty and um, being honest. Uh, to Amanda would prove to them maybe that maybe I am the true survivor just playing it fair playing it honest uh, would be the right way to go and so maybe they wouldn't judge me on that they would just judge me for who I am and um, that they had fun out here we, like, oh we've done so much eh okay let's go how many things did we do okay challenges yeah it was the first thing we did uh, I totally God, forget. I don't know. I can't remember. Thing, you know, the uh, through the creek. Oh yeah. How do we forget that? That was so crazy. That, that was so much fun. At our last tribal council today, it's going to be really awkward. Um, me and Jeanette have been on the same team since day one, and now we're going against each other. Um, the control is out of our hands at this point. I'm not sure whether either one of us has a better chance over the other. Just because I have no votes against me doesn't mean that people want me to win more than she. I think we both have an equal chance and she's a really funny and fun girl. Um, she's smart. She played well. Obviously she's in the final two. She deserves it just as much if not more than I do. The jury right now is filled with a bunch of great people. Um, I think they're all really really good people and they've tried really hard through the game. I, I honestly have no idea how people in that jury are going to vote. People's uh, votes uh, for either Amanda and I are going to be very hard to make, I'm sure. Um, we've had our ups and our downs with uh, various people, different people. 
our speech to them is probably going to be uh, have to be really well said, uh, kind of touch on everyone. I really don't know how people are going to vote. Um, it's there's two sides to everything. You have to speak your heart, speak your mind, and uh, see see how it goes. I tried really hard to play this game honestly. A lot of people say you don't need honesty to win Survivor, but it depends. It depends what kind of a jury you're dealing with. If the jury looks at you and says, she played a good game, she played hard, did what she had to do, and that's why she deserves to win, then they'll vote for you. But if the jury looks at you and says, that person was a liar and cheated and wasn't honest, then they're not going to. There's two different sides, and it depends what kind of people you have on the jury. I think in this case, we have more people that are in favor of honest games. Me and Callista had a bit of an issue. Um, I don't really know what to think about that one at this point. It, it's either going one way or it's going the other. And whichever way she goes, she's taking two people with her, I'm betting. I don't think she's still angry with me. I don't think she'll take it personally, but you never know. The Spinal Tribal Council is very important, I think. Um, but it was a lot of fun getting here and the fact that I'm here with Amanda is is perfectly fine with me. It wouldn't matter if she won or I won, whatever the outcome is, uh, we hope for the best. Uh, we tried our hardest. When it's all over, I'll be sad, but I'll also be really excited to tell everyone what I've done and I can't wait to tell everyone to watch the video and see how it actually all turns out, see what everyone says, um, to actually take a shower and get some food in me and some sleep. Um, the money will be mine too, that'd be an extra bonus. It's just a bonus, it's not my main uh, purpose right now. I'm just happy to be where I am. Uh, Survivor was an amazing game. I've learned so much and have uh, challenged myself to accomplish my goals and to have faith to keep going. Um, I loved it. It was just an all around great experience. There's nothing else I can imagine that can actually test me on my mind, body, and soul um, abilities. Everyone was very determined. Uh, the people that were chosen were picked amazing. Um, we all had different personalities, but all seemed to get along pretty well. Um, there's not going to be any hard feelings. It's a game. Um, we had a lot of fun, and thanks for the experience. I think playing Survivor has been a really good experience for me. Um, watching it on TV for the last couple of years, I guess it's been now, um, I always thought that I wouldn't mind um, lying or deceiving people to get what I wanted. But in this game, I don't think I did that. Maybe, okay, maybe I lied to one or two people, but it was very minimal. Um, I definitely tried to play the game with honesty. Um, it wasn't what I expected. It made me realize that that's what I value more is an honest game and respect. Honesty, respect, and loyalty are really important. I think from this game I could take away, I think I'm a lot more patient. I don't really have any patience at all. But coming into a game where you're living with the same people for four days, or mostly the same people for four days, you have to have a lot of patience because some people are going to get on your nerves and you have to hold your tongue sometimes. That's definitely a very valuable thing for me to take away from this. We have quite a few inside jokes and a lot of memories to take away with us. I think if a lot of us weren't going away to different cities or different provinces for school, that we might actually hang out outside of the game. We had a really good time. Two final survivors, welcome to Tribal Council. Let's bring in the jury. Our jury is made up of Donnie, Hannah, Calista, Danielle, Dan, Tim, and most recently, Drew. Most of the questions I will be asking will be directed to both of you. How does it feel to have made it to the final two? Jeanette? It's made it this far, it feels amazing. Um, I don't think I was intending to come this far. Um, 
it seemed to work out. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. I wish everyone could have a chance to experience this feeling. Amanda? Um, it's just, it's really exciting feeling, um, knowing that we came this far and um, exceeded what we set out to do. You went back to camp, packed up, brought everything with you. How difficult was that? Um, it was really difficult to leave, actually. Um, it feels like uh, <laughs> home, I guess you can say. We've spent so much time there, and um, this is where we met so many people. This is where we have slept and survived the wilderness. This is That was the spot where um, all the things that we've won, all the things that we're looking forward to would be at our camp, and to leave was uh, kind of sad. Amanda? At this point, it wasn't sad for me. It was weird to go back to camp and only have two of us sitting there. It wasn't the same, and it just didn't, it wasn't as fun. There wasn't the group atmosphere. There wasn't as many laughs. It just, it was completely different, um, different atmosphere. It was weird, for sure. At this point, you will have the opportunity to address the jury and give reasons as to why they should vote for you. Jeanette, you may begin. Well, I knew this was going to be difficult. Um, I think all of you are amazing. You guys uh, did a really good job. We all came out here to play. We all had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. Uh, I think you guys know your votes. Uh, I think that you guys should go with your gut instinct, what you feel inside. I think you should uh, vote for the best person. Um, I don't think you should vote for me. Uh, um, just for any reason, I think that you should uh, take time to think about it and just remember all the good times that we had and uh, try your best. Amanda? I came out to this game looking for a good experience, fun times, and meeting new people. Um, I think I've done all of those, but I also believe that I can't sit here and tell you why you should vote for me. Each of you is going to have your own individual reasons on why you think someone should win Survivor. They're not set down, they're not the same. You can't say, this person should win because they did that, because everybody's gonna value something different. So really just go with what you guys think. It's your decision and no one can change it for you. Okay, at this point, the jury is given the opportunity to address you. We'll begin in the order of the survivors voted out. Donnie, you may begin. Hey. Well, Jeanette, Amanda, congratulations on getting this far. Um, personally, I think the right two people are sitting in those stools right now. I think you guys played the game the right way it should be played. So, Amanda, what do you think it takes to be the ultimate survivor? I think to be the ultimate survivor, you have to be very patient, first of all. You're spending four days with people that you've never met before, and your personalities are bound to clash. Um, you have to be determined. If you're not determined then you're not going to give your 110 percent in every one of those challenges, events, conversations, um, everything that adds up and counts towards the end. I think those are the two most important things for any survivor. Jeanette, you talk all the time about going with your gut instinct. Why do you think that's so important? Um, I feel that if you, uh, your first instinct is the right one. I feel that um, you know deep in your heart what, what is right, what is wrong, um, and that comes out in every person. If I think about it too long, you know, I start thinking, what ifs, what ifs, you know? Um, but definitely my gut staying like, right from the heart, what you truly believe, um, and I think that'll make your best decision. Okay. Just before I sit down, I want one of you to pick, I want each of you to pick a hand. Amanda? No. Okay. Left hand's empty. Right hand has the stick. There's two of you sitting right there. That means there's a 50 50 chance that she was going to get it right. And that just goes to show you that this game's all about luck. Next to address you is Hannah. Okay, um, again, congratulations. You guys really deserve to be here. You guys played awesome. You had a lot of determination and everything. Um, Amanda, do you consider yourself an honest person? Um, I think for the most part I am. 
Um, I think I am, I try to be as honest as I can with the people that I'm with. I'm honest with friends outside the game, but I try to be as honest as I can within the game, but there are certain points where you have to make um, decisions, you have to make sacrifices, if you would. There's going to be a couple things that happen, but I mean, I did my best to try to give everybody everything straight up. Matt, do you think that if you told, like, if you said everything completely honest this whole game, that the outcome of you two would be different? So if we were honest the whole game? Completely honest. I think uh, if we were honest, and I think for the most part we were, uh, I tried my best to be honest. Amanda and I did play uh, really hard. We both put pretty good effort in and uh, we tried to stay honest and I think that's a big part of the game. Next to speak is Calista. Girls, congratulations on being top team. My first question is for Jeanette. What, why do you think that you should be the sole survivor over Amanda? Good question. Um, well, uh, I don't think I should be a sole survivor over Amanda. I think we both played just as hard, just as motivated, just as determined. We both put an amazing effort in. It's your determination to get there and your motivation to be the ultimate survivor. You really want to have uh, a goal before coming in. You want to be that person to, to be the ultimate survivor. You want to be there. You want to be in the action. Amanda, in the beginning you and I had an alliance. And it turns out that Jeanette and you had an alliance after the end. Why were you more confident in your own than Jeanette's than mine and yours? At the point where our alliance came into play, we were at the merge. Um, the numbers were six to three. Where I was in the game, I felt that being loyal to the people that I'd been with for the last day, even though I'd only met them, was really important. Um, if I had turned on them and stuck to our alliance, I feel there was more of them that would be in the jury and they would be very upset. Um, I understand as well that it upset you. Um, I tried to be really upfront and um, honest with you about that. It was really hard and I was um, definitely torn at that moment. It was um, not fun. Next to address you is Danielle. You guys are two amazing people, and congratulations on making it this far. Again, first question is for Amanda. If you could have any other two survivors sitting in your spot, who do you think would be most deserving? I think I would put Donnie and Drew. Why is that? Donnie, because when we merged, I think he knew that um, our tribe was aiming to take them off. He knew he was at the end of the line, but didn't give up. I saw him with Drew, saw him with you, um, and Hannah and uh, Calista were originally with him as well. Um, he swung one vote. It was really close, I think, and I really respect that effort. Um, Drew, I think, it started out not, not at the top of his game. He wasn't feeling well, but the comeback was, was awesome. That you talk a lot about following your gut instinct. I respect that because I feel the same way. Did you ever find it really hard to follow your gut instinct and do you wish you hadn't went the other way? It was hard to follow my gut instinct, but I always go with it. Um, and no, I don't I don't regret anything. It, it got me here. Um, I am so excited to be here. Um, I wouldn't say that um, I would take back anything that I've, that I've said, um, that, that I've accomplished. I feel that everyone worked together and tried to do the best they can, and this is where we got it. Next to speak is Dan. Congratulations, guys. Uh, came in not knowing you, you, it's been a great time. Uh, like Donnie said, this is game of luck. So, my main question is just both of you pick number three and one ten. Four. Seven. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Next to speak.
him. <clears throat> Um, okay, Jeanette, I'll ask you first. Uh, when and how did you and Amanda become so close? I think it was definitely uh, the first day um, when we were sitting together waiting uh, to see what was going to happen. We are all sitting in the group and I guess we started talking um, and it took off from there. Um, we had known each other uh, a while in the past, haven't seen each other in about four years. Uh, we just played a few soccer games together, so we knew of each other. Um, and uh, when I saw she was here, I was really excited to see that she was here. I hadn't seen her, and it's kind of like um, starting a new friendship all over again. It's it's fun. Uh, got to know some more things about her and uh, kept, kept honest to each other. We loyal and um, just kept going along the way, and it seemed to work for the both of us. Amanda, do you have anything to add? Not really, no. Like like she said, we met before, um, and it had been a while since we saw each other, and we were really excited when we got here. I think it was like after that first day, um, building a shelter and working together all day, and we just thought we related well together. Um, I think we both had the same kind of um, same kind of gameplay in mind, and that just seemed to uh, click. Last to speak is Drew. Congratulations, guys. Uh, this question's for both of you. Uh, I just want to ask you, do you think you played the game to the best of your ability, or do you think you could have played better, and why or why not? Go, you can go first, Jeanette. Okay. Um, I think that I tried my best playing this game. Uh, coming into it, I knew it was going to be a lot of hard work, um, different challenges to face, not knowing what to expect, trying to see the future. Um, so all these things uh, were really hard to uh, to overcome. Meeting new people, um, so you're you're building relationships, you're building your physical activity, you're trying to uh, conserve what you eat. You know, like it's it's all emotionally um, evolved as well. I think I tried to play the game the best of my ability. Um, you know, there's. It, there's only so much you can do as well. You know, the being outside here for four days dry, drains you out. It really does. And um, being patient, uh, trying to work together as a team, and uh, just having faith and hope will get you to where you are. Amanda? I think as far as the challenges go, um, I did the best I could. As far as the people side of the game goes, it's really hard to define what the best game you can play is. Um, everybody has their own version of best. I think that I played the best version for me. Um, I'm not disappointed with anything that happened. Um, I think that I'm coming away feeling good about the game regardless of the um, end result. Thanks. Good luck, guys. At this point in the council, you will get to address the jury one last time before they vote. Amanda, you can go first. I don't really have much left to say, guys, to be honest. Um, just vote how you want, and um, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank all of you for coming. It was a wonderful experience. I'll never forget it. We've gone through a lot, actually, like getting to know someone in just four days. You, you wouldn't think you would. And getting to know each and every one of you it has been a really fun experience. Like learning about your families and your backgrounds and um, all the silly conversations we have, like definitely that's, I think that's a big part of the game, like getting to know each other. Definitely I feel happy just where I am, I'm so excited just to be here and uh, I'm glad you guys could stay and watch the rest of the game too. Alright, it's time to vote. This time, seeing your name is a good thing. The jury will cast their votes for the person they believe should be the sole survivor. Donnie, you may begin. Congratulations, you did exactly what you're supposed to do. Survivors all about taking risks. You took a risk. Our friendship, even though you let go of the alliance, it doesn't mean you let go of our friendship. You rock, the game belongs to you. Good job, girl.
great time together, and I think uh, we're all going to be like winners either way. So, congratulations, both of you. You played the game hard. You were tons of fun, brutally honest, and you stayed true to yourself and to everyone else. I think you really deserve it. So, good job. I'm going to tally the final votes. Please remember that you want to see your name on these vote ballots. You need four votes for majority. I'll read the votes. First vote, Amanda. Second vote, Jeanette. Third vote, Amanda. Fourth vote, Amanda. The winner of Survivor Otter Creek, Amanda. You are the sole survivor. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.